Hello, this is Jeff Hicks, and today I want to show you how we can use Windows PowerShell and WMI to get a handle on user profiles that you have on your member servers and desktops. So we're going to start out with WMI and the get WMI object commandlet, and we're going to look at the Win32 user profile class, and I'm going to look at the computers, uh, Chicago DB01. I'm just going to pipe that to more so I can see the results without them scrolling so quickly over the screen. All right, so there you can see all of the profiles on that computer on DB01. Uh, some properties of interest are the last use time, which shows me when that profile was last used, the local path, which helps me identify the username. Actually, the SID will be the best way to do that. And then also special, which indicates whether it is a one of the new service-related profiles, which we typically don't want to muck around with. So let's run the command again. This time let's filter out those special profiles. So all ones that are not special. We'll do this on two computers this time. And we're going to select a few properties that are really the ones we're interested in. Now there is no property for computer name, so I have to grab the system property uh, double underscore server and there is a result. Not formatted the best way, so let's fix that. Again, get WMI object for the Win32 user profile class, add in our filter, put in our computer names. Now let's use select or select the properties. Local path is good. I'll create a hash table for last used, which will be the last used time converted to a user format, user friendly format the SID and instead of underscore underscore server will create a property called computer name and I'm going to pipe that to format list to make it a little bit easier to read on the screen. Good. There are the profiles that are running on the servers that I queried. You could easily scale this out to query multiple servers or desktops or whatever you would like to do. Now I made things a little bit easier so I don't have to rely on that type of command all the time. I wrote a module called Manage User Profiles, which you can download from the site. So I'm going to import that into my PowerShell session. You can run get command to take a look at see what's inside the module. The module really just has two profiles and I threw in a couple aliases to make things a little bit easier. Uh, you can run help for the functions. So I want to look at help for my get user profile using the alias that I provided. Alright, so as you can see it's very easy to use. Specify the computer name defaults to the local computer name and what you get back is a custom object that does a lot of the things I were, was manually typing in such as converting the last use time to a user friendly format, getting the computer name and also resolving the SID to an account so I don't have to rely on just the SID and the path and trying to identify a user that goes with the profile. So I can use it like this. Let's run get user profile. This is going to default to the local computer. I'll pipe it to more. All right, so those are all the profiles and you can see the computer name and the account name. I took things a step further and you can also get the size of the property because I have the local path. I can do a directory listing of that path and measure how big that file folder is. If you do this for a remote computer, this will require PowerShell remoting. And so now let's select the computer name. Again, this is the local computer, but you could scale this out. You get the account, the last use time, and the local size. And again, I'll format this as a list. All right, there we go. So now I can see on one computer, again, easy to scale out to as many as you need, all the profiles that are on my computer. Now the last thing we need to do is I may need to periodically delete profiles. I might want to do it by date or by user. So the situation I have is, let's say that uh, Roy G. Biv is no longer with the company. I want to delete his profile on this machine or perhaps other machines that are, he is he's logged on to. So I can run a command like this. I'm going to use my remove user profile function that's in the module. So we'll do get user profile where the account matches Roy's name. And I'm going to pipe that to remove user profile. Now the function supports dash what if, so if you want to verify that this is in fact what you want to do, 
I can run what if, and I can see if I had run that command without dash what if, it would have deleted Roy's profile on this machine. I'm going to leave it as it is just for the sake of my demonstration, but I think you, you get the idea. So we can use WMI and PowerShell to really get a good handle on profiles in our, in our environment as well as deleting them. There's more information and some other techniques for managing profiles in the accompanying article and blog entry, so I hope you'll find some time to take a moment to read those. Thank you very much for your time.